Alright guys, so today I am doing the mixed media morsels um, plastic wrap technique and I will put the number of the mixed media morsels in the title as well as in the description below. Um, I am using this 6x6 square that uh, I just cut up from a larger pad and I actually have two here because I'm going to do the mixed media plastic wrap technique and then I think I'm going to do the alcohol ink and paint technique as well. So basically what I did was just cut this down to 6x6 six six, and I've already prepped it with gesso. Um, I'm using Liquitex clear gesso. I just want to see if it'll be any different than my uh, normal white gesso. Since it's a white paper it doesn't really matter. Um, this paper is the Canson Mixed Media Paper. I have a giant pad of it, so that's what I'm using. So I'm just going to put one of these off to the side. Now the colors I'm using are these Folk Art. Uh, these are metallics, and I just really wanted to see how they would do with this technique because I really love metallics. Um, this is Garnet Red. I don't know if you'll, there we go. Garnet Red antique gold and blue topaz so those are the three colors I'm going to use and I got my spray bottle of water and below me is just some meat market paper this is the waxy side so that's what I'm going to use as my palette and I've got my brushes over here so I'm ready to go so let's get my paint all mixed up and ready to go too Now, one thing that she did say, Kat said, was to make sure that it doesn't dry. So I've got my water here, and I'm just going to keep spraying it because I'm kind of slow, and I'm a little nervous about that. So I just don't want it to dry. So I really want this technique to work out for me. got my paper here, my saran wrap, which isn't really saran wrap, it's clean wrap, made by some generic company, which is awesome. So my idea was really kind of crazy, and I don't even know if I can do this because I'm not very good at things like this, but... Where's my pencil at? No. Okay. Does that have enough an eraser? I don't think it does. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. All right. So we'll try this eraser. So I'm just watching to make sure that I don't come too far off this paper and I'm just going to push it all down again so it stays nice and nice and lined the way I want it. But tomorrow when it dries we'll see how we did. But that was just my idea, was to take an eraser or something right in the center and just twist it so that it created kind of a star-shaped or what are those seashells, uh, conch, conch shells type thing. So, okay guys, so here we are. 
Um, it has been just about 24 hours since I did this. Uh, cling wrap um, background. So I am going to do the reveal now and then we will see what happens if it turned out the way I wanted it to turn out. So here we go. Okay, surprisingly enough, uh, the paint is still wet. <clears throat> Even though it's been 24 hours, I've got some paint on me. Um, but I was hoping for a little bit more swirl, but I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Right in that center, it almost looks like an eye. It really does. And it's a little swirly. It's almost like um, the Eye of God Nebula. It's kind of creepy, but it's so cool. So I really like how this turned out. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more swirl, a little bit more kind of tie-dye, I guess. Um, but I really love how this turned out. And I love the way that the saran wrap, when we smushed it in, how it uh, pushed the gold into the red. So came out pretty great. I think it looks a little bit like a flower. So maybe I've just figured out what I'm going to do with this once we're all done with the morsels. So have a wonderful day and thanks so much for watching.